Good morning, guys. You're so fast this morning. Who is live with me already? I wonder if I can see comments today. Ah. And happy Friday. Good morning, Loretta. High five. I'm so glad you're here live. Huh. All right. Well, for those of you who might be watching this in the future, no, not might be, who will be watching this in the future, hey, good morning, mom, and who do not know me, <laughs> my name is Catherine Oster. Hello. I'm a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness. And these coffee chats, these weekly coffee chats are about um, how I live the tools of access and what that creates for me in my life. You've been up for hours, Loretta. <laughs> Have you been just really excited about today? <sighs> so, um, and for those of you watching this on YouTube or listening on SoundCloud, I, I do this video as a Facebook Live. So sometimes I get a little distracted with people joining. Just a heads up. Today, I want to chat with you guys about a choice that I made last week that is really actually creating so much greater in my life, in, the, in, in our family life, that's actually beyond what I could, have, could ever imagine possible. Hey, good morning, Joy. How are you, lady? It's great to have you live. Ah, and yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments while I'm chatting, go ahead and type them in and um, what else is possible? I'm not making any promises, but usually I can speak to what you are asking or commenting on. All right, so with the mask mandating, um, last week, the, our school division, so the kids were to go back to school on Thursday. And on Tuesday afternoon, our school division changed their mandate and they made it mandatory for elementary kids. Good morning, Robert. For elementary kids to be wearing masks in school when they're not seated at their desk. So, I mean, they could take them off when they're sitting down. And for, I can't tell you, I mean, there's so many reasons why. But when I got that email, I was really excited with myself because I didn't go into, good morning, Lil. I did not go into being pissed off and angry. I actually was spaced with it and I stayed in the question. And in fact, I went and got a few groceries later that day and I was going to buy my kids a pack of masks to send them to school with. So I was intending on sending them. I was kind of like, eh. And, um, and Tuesday night, I forgot. So the first thing, I forgot to buy the masks when I was at the grocery store or to check if I could buy them there. Um, so that was the first thing I forgot, which I never forget by accident. Usually when I forget, it's because it's not required. Um, and then Tuesday night, it was just really clear to me that that wasn't going to work for my kids, um, for us or, or for them. And I asked them if they wanted to go to school with the masks and they said no. And I'm like, okay, so I could have just, you know, pulled them and not sent them and just quietly went along my way to homeschool. But there was actually other parents that were very, very feeling very strongly the same as me in our community. And I sensed that and I posted in our little community Facebook group and a couple of parents said, like, I just posted, like, what if we actually just said, no, this doesn't work for us and see what we can create and change, you know, and not from the energy of fighting for or against for real, like just from saying like, this doesn't work. Um, and, um, and I started a Facebook group chat and we probably, and people were adding people anyway, there was probably about 50 maybe it even grew up to 60 people in the chat that we were talking like, okay, we're going to go to the school Thursday morning and we're just going to say this doesn't work for us. Like our kids will not be wearing masks. There's been another active group in the province um, doing some research and we had a form that we were going to give them a notice of liability, etc. Anyway, at the end of the day, it was, it was just... Mm, 
a lot of parents, it just didn't work for them. And that's okay because every family situation is different. Every, every person, every family has a different situation. So they have to be willing to choose what works for them and what doesn't work for them. And it just, at the end of the day, it didn't actually really work for them. So, okay, cool. So I went with my kids on school day on Thursday morning and I told them we were going to talk to the principal and, um, and I told Trace and Helena what we were, what was going down. And I'm like, um, so just so they knew and they were like, okay. And, um, so I, I got, we got to school and the principal was outside. So we went to talk to her and I just said, Hey, Hey, good morning. Um, just so you know, my kids will not be wearing masks in school this year. And, um, here's a notice of liability. And she just said, she's like, just so you're clear, they don't have to wear them when they're seated at their desk. And I said, yep, I'm clear. And that actually doesn't work. They won't be wearing masks at all in school this year. And, um, and she just said, well, then we'll have to separate them out and they'll have to go into their own room by themselves and they'll get like little, very little teacher time. And I'm like, no, that doesn't work either. And Trace and Helena will not be wearing masks in school this year. And, um, and then she said, well, then they can't come to school. And I'm like, okay. And I said, you look my kids in the eye right now. They're right there. You tell them that they're not welcome to come to the school because they're choosing something different. They're choosing what works for them. And she started to cry. And I get it. And I wanted to plant a seed of question. That was my target. I just wanted to plant a seed of question. And I, and, and I said, if you truly believed that this was right with the schools right now, you wouldn't be crying. You would just be able to tell them. And I'm like, this just doesn't work for us. Um, so I'm like, if you ever wanted support from parents to like change the mandates. And I, I know that she's, I said, I also know you're stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Um, but I would support you. I would be a parent that would support that. And so at the end of the day, so we, so we left and now, now we got signed up with Sun West School Division. Um, and we're actually really excited about it. It's actually what has been showing up this last week just from making that choice. A different choice than I ever considered, actually, because like a week before school, I was excited to send my kids back to school. You know how that is. Um, but I just said, no, like we're doing something different. So I've been doing research about the SunWest School Division online distance learning center. It's actually in Saskatchewan. And um, the more and more that we're choosing this, the more, the lighter it is, the more space it is. It's so freaking exciting. And I actually had no idea what SunWest Distance Learning Center was all about and what it would create for us in our lives right now. We're choosing a different future. And here's some things that have been showing up for me this last week. Thing one, when I talked to the administrator of SunWest and another parent, she said, you can get your schoolwork, your school year finished up in like seven months, six to seven months, working on it two to three hours a day. Of course, it's dependent by kids, um, by your child, child and your abilities. But you can finish one year, a school grade in six to seven months, working two to three hours a day. I'm like, that's freaking awesome. How does it get better than that? You know, because right now the kids are in school for almost 10 months. And I'm like, wow, that opens up a lot of space. Um, thing number two is um, I don't have to worry about the, the kids coming home. They can have a consistent learning program this year. We can have a consistent schedule because we're choosing that. So already I've heard of my friends in other cities and towns with their kid having to be sent home and for, you know, 14 days or going into isolation or their classroom shutting down because there have been positive COVID cases. We don't have to worry about that anymore. It can be consistent. I'm not going to get um, notified spur of the moment. Your kid has to go home because they've been in contact or maybe they tested positive. We're just going to be at home doing our thing and it's going to be, it's going to be consistent. I'm so excited about that. So I actually know what our future holds for the school year. Thank you, Melissa. 
So really excited about that. And then um, another thing, when I was scheduling writing lessons, so I teach writing lessons in Lloydminster at, a, at an arena there, and I go there twice a month. And I was always having a hard time scheduling a weekend for lessons, to do lessons, because I didn't want to, I was always like, well, what if we want to go to the cabin that weekend? Or what if we want to do something with the kids? Because with school, you're restricted to weekends only. And a few days ago, I was looking at scheduling my writing lesson days for September and October. And I'm like, I'm going to pick weekends because it's not relevant anymore. That's how excited it's not relevant anymore. I can teach lessons on a Saturday. And then if we want to go to the cabin Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we can. The kids do not have to miss any school we can take. If we want, we can take the workbooks with us and do work at the cabin. Um, or not if they've gotten their units done before then they don't have to like I was so excited about the freedom that created I was like wow this is freaking amazing and another really cool thing now this probably won't be happening this year but in the future is Travis and I have always talked about traveling across Canada like it would be really cool to travel to drive from here we've kind of went to the west a little bit already good morning Cindy We've kind of went to the west a little bit already, but we would really like to go to the east and drive across Canada to the east coast. And whenever we would talk about it, we would always talk about going in the fall. Like if we ever had a year where we were done harvest early, which is kind of going to be this year, but it's not, and we're not going to be doing it this year, but um, where we're kind of done harvest like the end of September. And then we could take, and we're like, okay, we're going to need like three weeks for sure, possibly a month if we really want to take our time and not feel pressured. And I was always like, well, yeah, we could do that. But the kids have school. Like, they're always in school then. Not anymore. <laughs> so I have a feeling we might, maybe we'll do this again next year. And then we have the freedom to, like, do our Canada travel. And, um, and they can also continue with their distance learning. Or they can do the distance learning when we get back and start that. Then, because it only takes six to seven months. Like, how does it get better? Than I was so excited. I didn't even know actually this possibility existed until I chose it without even really thinking about it. All these perks are showing up now. Um, and what was, oh yeah, and the program, like the people that work at SunWest are so, they have a different energy. For me, anyway, they're so easy. It's total ease to enjoy. There's so much space. They've already reached out and made contact. I've talked on the phone with both Trace and Helena's teachers. Like, they still have teachers. Um, they phoned me. They said hi. They're like, welcome. And I'm like, you guys are amazing. Like, thank you so much for reaching out. I had a few questions, and they answered my questions clearly. It made sense. Um, the kids still get access to all of the programs that they would in school, such as Mathletics, Reading Eggs, Raz Kids, those online reading and math programs, we will get access to them as well through SunWest. Um, and, um, and the woman, oh yeah, the administrator was like, and if you guys are ever going on a family weekend, say to Drumheller or somewhere else, like let your teachers know and they will actually, like your teachers will actually give you um, a specialized learning programs that's pertinent to where you are going. So they'll incorporate that with the, with the, I'm just like, how the fuck does it get better than this? So excited. Um, so basically with SunWest, you also get like a year in a box, they call it, which is what we're waiting for our box right now. And um, with elementary kids, they want to keep them in workbooks as much as they can. And so you get all the books you're going to need for the whole year in a box. It's going to come to your mail. So I bet you I have a sense it'll be there on Monday. I'm going to go get the mail on Monday. And then we can get started when it works for us. And, um, and so we can go through and get it organized. So they'll watch like learning videos on the DLC online platform for each of their classes. So they have ELA, math, science, social studies, and art, and phys ed. Um, and... Um, and get it organized and then each of that each of those classes online has a teacher so that teacher will support you you can phone them ask them any questions email they'll get online uh, video with teams if you they need to show you something 
And um, so, yeah, so this was a choice that was so light for me that I didn't even know what I was choosing when I chose it, like cognitively. But I just wanted to iterate, like choice creates awareness. I just knew it was not going to work for me to send my kids to school with the masks. That was heavy. That was not something that was going to create a greater future for us. Um, But this was light. And as we're starting to live this choice... All of the things are showing up differently. So your choice creates. So it literally created a different future for us and our family that I didn't even consider. And so, and this works for us with our lifestyle, our livelihood. It's a fit. And I know it's not a fit for all families, but um, what else is possible beyond what you could ever, ever imagine? And what would it be like for you to, to know, for example, like to have clarity and ease and to know what choice is a fit for you, even if it doesn't make sense at the time, but for you to have that awareness of what's light for you and what's going to create for you. And honestly, at the end of the day, I am not pro or anti anything. I am, I'm not anti anything. I'm like pro choice pro-choice for everybody to have the ability to choose what works for them. And so, yeah, how does it get better than that? Um, So another thing, I'm just, there's so many exciting things about this. Trace, our son has learned, has started baling straw this year, helping us in the field. And um, he's been baling straw the last two days when he would have normally had to be in school. He's staying home and baling straw, learning all about different aspects of the farm and um, really cool. He's very excited about that. So anyway, that's a wrap for today, guys. Coffee chat. Yes, I'm not pro or anti anything. I know, Joy. And that really actually hit me like a couple of days ago because I don't have a point of view. If you want to wear a mask, that works for you. If you would like to get vaccinated, that works for you. That's cool. Like, you have to choose what works for you and, um, and not let anybody sway you either way. Like, what would it be like for you to have total clarity and ease? Yeah. <clears throat> and um, anyway, oh yeah, I would like to invite you guys to the Daily Dose. I'm just starting another round. We actually started yesterday. Today's day two, but you can choose it and join any time. The Daily Dose, choosing beyond defending for and against is what this 30 days is called and the daily dose is a daily facebook live with me where we run this and we're doing two clearings this month we're running them every day and it's going to open up a greater space what we're doing is opening up a greater space for you to make a choice that's not not defending for not defending against what else is possible what are the choices available to you that you haven't considered and this can be with money relationships, your business, your body. Ah, So we started, you can still join us. I'm going to put a link with this video. And if you have any questions, you can let me know. All right. I will actually see a lot of you guys over there in nine minutes. (laughs) Have an amazing rest of your day, you guys. And if you got anything out of this video and you wanted to share it, I would be so grateful. Okay. Coffee cheers. Bye-bye for now.